this is, this is, this is. All right, welcome to it, you guys. Brand new episode of the podcast. I'm happy to be here. Um, it's been a crazy week, crazy weekend. MXPX Find a Way Home is getting closer and closer and closer. And I know we haven't been talking a ton about it, but we have been working on things. We really have. Um, Tom Wisniewski and I flew down to L.A. Um, we filmed some things. We um, we did a podcast. We did a few other things that I don't want to talk about right now. Um, and had a great time. You know, we, we're really... We're really ramping up, getting busier and busier, and I'm doing more and more press for the album. Um, we're practicing. Uh, we have shows coming, and um, of course, I should tell you right now, September 22, Furnace Fest will be there. That's Friday night. It's not this Friday night. Just don't don't go crazy. I mean, it could be this Friday night if you're listening to this podcast the week before Furnace Fest than it is this Friday, but... um mxpeaks.com you can get all that info please if you haven't already done so please go check out mxpeaks.com look at all the merch that we have there we've got hoodies we've got t-shirts we've got vinyl a bunch of different variants we've got picture disc vinyl we've got uh, the nebula vinyl is is going crazy uh insomnia has been selling a lot and um galaxy has, is starting to pick up some steam the, the classic black, to be honest, isn't selling as much as the rest of the stuff. And the solid orange is not our best seller. But I love that one. I think it's just because solid orange is cool. But, like, people really want that nebula. They really want that insomnia. And the galaxy is is kind of like the nebula, but it's a little bit more. It's less, it's less uh, dark and mysterious. It's a little more straightforward, fun, happy, bright colors. But the nebula... It starts dark, but then you put it in the light and it just goes crazy. It gets bright. It's all just nutty. Um, really, really happy with how the vinyl came out. And people have been buying it and we've been packaging. We're getting the pre-orders ready. Those will be shipping out uh, right, you know, the day before the record comes out. You'll be getting it and it, it's, uh, you'll be getting it really close to, you know, at when the record comes out. And we're just really, really doing our best, and I think things are going really, really well as far as just how we're handling our business and how how the mail order is going, how everything's going. It's, it's pretty good. You know, we're by no means are we perfect, and we do make mistakes, of course. Um, I'm sure somebody's going to get a wrong package, but when you think about thousands and thousands and thousands of orders and then you get just a few wrong, like 20 of them or something, it's not too bad, not too bad at all. And that... You know, and I think we're going to do better than we did last time. So I'm just going off our last numbers. And this this time, because we did a pre order, I feel like we had we had more more of a handle on everything. So find a way home. Getting excited. Um, if you guys haven't already heard the new song, it's called "Stay Up All Night." There's a video. Go to uh, the MXPX YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, that's what this podcast plays on. If you want to watch it, of course, you can find it anywhere. You're listening maybe on on uh, Spotify or Apple Music or Amazon or something. But I don't care where you listen. Just enjoy it. It's free. Do what you want. I appreciate you guys. Uh, but if you want to check it out on the YouTubes, it's there. But like I said, back to the song, um, Stay Up All Night. It's on the channel would love for you to check it out. Would love for you to play it over and over and over. If you really like it, just keep listening. Keep going. If you don't like it, keep listening. Just torture yourself. <laughs> We've been getting amazing reactions out of this song. People really seem to love it, and it's it's hitting people harder. And, and you know, our audience is a little different than, say, like a Taylor Swift audience. They're a little less vocal about things, but when you really get into talking to somebody about MXPX about the songs about the new song whatever they start opening up they start coming out of their shell and and start going yeah it's this and this it hit me at the right time and uh, I'm just I'm just elated that that uh people really like the song there's been I haven't seen any negative press any negative talk about it but um you know the only thing you could say about it is if you just don't like punk rock you don't like that kind of music or something sure I get it but um Stay up all night. Go check it out. Show it to your mom. I want to know, one, does your mom like it? Or two, does your mom hate it? That's the only thing I need to know. 
show it to your mom, send it to her in a text, send her the link to the video, because the video really, I think, could get anybody, you know, uh, because it's telling stories. It's telling stories about people in their lives going through some of the worst times in their lives. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm terrible at telling that story by myself. So I'm really glad that, you know, I had the guys and that we had, uh, Joshua Schultz who directed the video, did a great job and, and put a lot of that on his shoulders. The storytelling part, Tom Tuchilla definitely had a big hand in, in the actual storyline and what he wanted to see. So we had a lot of help on this one. And even, you know, even Darren Doan helped out on a, on a couple little editing bits, but, um, you know, more in the color section, but, um, you know, we really, really wanted to just give you guys something solid. We didn't think it was going to be like, you know, the biggest thing in the world or anything. You know, a punk band like us, you know, putting out new music. All we want to do is, is, is get people to hear it and get a reaction or get a uh, get people to to it to find get the song to find people where they where they are in their lives. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but getting people to find the song where they are in their lives and have it affect them and and almost like just you know just be another another part of their life you know just like a a soundtrack to the life you know like that's what we've kind of always been you know just growing up with the, the audience with MXPX and we're trying to continue to do that in a very real a very not flashy way like just we're trying to be real and um I guess not fake, you know, we're trying to be genuine. So trying to be, <laughs> I think we are being, you know, and, and that's, you know, it's always like a decision and a, you know, it's easy to just go with what's easier and what people are already finding that works as far as like promotion and marketing and things like that. But, you know, we're really trying to just go with doing good work, doing, doing good work as far as the music, the videos, um, of course, you know, we do live streams and we, we you know, we're going to be playing live a lot coming up. So we're going to be supporting this record. We're going to be doing a lot. Um, just stay tuned for for all that info. Um, I always, you know, this info might come out like a day after this podcast. Who knows? Right. Because the thing is, is I'm I'm just doing this podcast as I go and I say stuff and I'm like, OK, well, I can't talk about that. I can't talk about that. A lot of times things will come out after I've already recorded the podcast, I'm just like, all right, I'll just say, I'll catch it next time, catch it on the next one. So uh, hopefully, hopefully we got some, some more news coming very soon. You know, we're like, well, what other news besides the album? You already told us there's an album. It's August 25th, find a way home. You can pre-order it already right now at mxpeaks.com. So yeah, there's more, there's more. Um, but all I can say is if, you, if you're not already listening to the MXPX Challenge playlist, Stay Up All Night is track one right there. Um, it's on there. You can find the link in the podcast notes. It's always on every podcast note. There's a link to it, I'm pretty sure. Um, and so go find it. All right. You know what? We, we, I want to wait another little bit before we do another Music Monday. So we're going to add, you know, Get a few more submissions going. And if you do want to submit to Music Monday, you can do that on the Mike Herrera Podcast Facebook group. And just ask, ask to join, do that. Bob McKnight will get you set up. And to submit, just post uh, a post on, on the, the wall there and add your YouTube link to the song. It doesn't have to be a full-on music video. It could just be the song playing on your YouTube. But... I find that YouTube is better so I can put the YouTube links for everybody. Nobody, everybody has YouTube because it's free, right? So anybody can go to a YouTube link for free. You don't have to even be signed into YouTube and you can watch your song or watch your video, right? Listen to your song. So that's why I do YouTube. Um, not everybody has Spotify. Not everybody has Apple Music and so on and so forth. So we do YouTube to make it easy, to make it simple. And you know what's funny is like sometimes when you do a YouTube video and you play that with, say, something from Apple Music or Spotify, the music is a little bit different. Like it's a little lower or higher on one. Uh, maybe it's sped up just a little bit or slowed down just a little bit. And like you can't really tell when you're listening 
but when you put them together, like I tried to put, um, you know, a video with some good audio, boom, 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 and they don't match up. And you're like, wait, these aren't matching up. These are different pitches. So the pitch is actually different. The notes you hear by not full notes, but by like percentages, by cents, they call it. Um, just a weird thing that I sort of noticed over, over, you know, just putting together videos from YouTube and, and playing those, with, you know, along with, with, uh, you know, the, the studio recording that's out. It's weird. I think the reason why they do that, by the way, is because, um, a lot of, a lot of major labels will try to combat pirate, uh, you know, pirating by having a bunch of different versions of their song so that they copyright each each version and the YouTube version is slight got a slightly different like to it than the the other Spotify version and then there's like a TikTok version that's like a slightly different version and they just have these different things so that when when a, a you know somebody that's pirating the song comes in and tries to do that cuz that's kind of the classic move is to put something on YouTube that doesn't get flagged if you don't own the copyright. And I'm not telling you to do this. I'm saying that this is what pirates do. Um, <laughs> you do what you want to do. I don't care. But um, they change the pitch just a little bit. They'll change the pitch. They'll put something at the very beginning of the song. So it's like it's got a different marker to it. So when like the AI listens to it, they're like, okay, this is a different song. This is something new, something, a variation. It must be a new recording of this song rather than the same song that's copyrighted by this record label. So in order to combat that, record labels now make a bunch of different ones. Now, I don't know. I, I'm sure that it works, right? You know, if you're talking about tracks that are getting millions of plays per day, things like that, like really, really big tracks. It probably is worth doing. Now, for bands like us and bands like you guys submitting to Music Monday, I don't think it's really necessary, to be honest. I, I would love for people to repost our song just keep reposting our song everywhere please do it let people know mxpx new album coming this is the new song stay up all night like of course we want people to hear our song and, and we don't necessarily always we don't want people to pay for it i mean i don't want other people making money off of my song if i'm not making money but i don't need to make money off of it right like if you want to listen for free i would love that please come listen so youtube is a great place to do that um Back to it, you know, check that out. All right, let's get to a couple voicemails. Um, if you want to call in, be part of the, the, the podcast, please do. The number is 360-830-6660. Would love for you to call in. We need some ladies to call in uh, because it's all dudes right now. And I don't mind the dudes. I love you. Love you guys. Please keep calling. But I like to hear a female voice every now and again. Hey, ladies, what? Hey, ladies. Give us a call. Um, Bob McKnight, shout out to Bob McKnight producing, running the, the Facebook group over there. Love it. All right. Where are we at here? We're getting to voicemail. Let's make it happen. Here we go. Hi, Mike. This is Matt in Japan. I'm originally from Australia, and I've seen you guys many times, like a corner hotel walk tour a couple of times. And um, I remember one time it was a 40-degree day, and someone was surfing on a bodyboard. Remember that? <laughs> Hey, have you got any um, more Australian stories or um, about the TV show you did, Recovery? You did Chick Magnet on that? That was awesome. Also, question two. Got an, a song idea for you based on the Cooties DDF. How about MDF, Mask Distortion Factor? All the masks are coming off here in Japan, so, yeah, can be a shock. Hope <laughs> to see you in Japan or Australia one day, maybe after your new album. Here's Mike for everything. Thank you from Matt. See ya. That's hilarious. Mask distortion factor. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it's funny because like now that no nobody's wearing masks here in the U.S. except for like random a few people, you know, randomly. But for the most part, not a lot of people. And I appreciate masks. If you have a cold, if you're like really sick, please by all means wear a mask. I don't, I don't mind that. But yeah, it's funny because most people now, the only people not wearing masks, I feel like, are just really unattractive. <laughs> like they don't want to sh cover, you know, show their face. But at the same time, I loved sort of, I loved being able to hide behind a mask when that was a thing, because 
You didn't have to worry about what you looked like. You could just be like death, like hungover, whatever, and just like wake up, put on a mask, and you're fine. Like you don't need you don't. I I don't recommend this, but you don't even have to brush your teeth. You're just breathing your own terrible breath. I don't recommend that. But <laughs> brush your teeth, kids. Come on. But um, yeah, mask distortion. That is funny. Um, I thought it at first you said because your Australian accent, mass distortion factor. And I was like, what does that mean? Like mass hysteria? A lot of that going on these days. Um, you know, I know I'm, I used to be a lot more vocal about my politics and about the world that I saw. And nowadays I just, you know, it's been years. So ever since before COVID, I kind of ramped that down. And I, and I talk about it every now and again, but... The, the one thing I hold true is just I like to sit back and just watch things happen. I don't, I don't feel like I'm always part of everything going on in the world. I feel like I'm somebody that just looks at it. And, and maybe in, in the same way like a journalist would, but I think journalists have their own, their own um, ideas about the world too, you know, their own story they want to tell. And, and so when I look back, I, I sure, I have a story I want to tell. You know, I'm telling stories and songs all the time. But I don't necessarily, I, I feel like a lot of times I'm wrong. <laughs> you know, when I have, when I let my emotions lead, when, when I let my emotions lead the way, you know, I can hurt feelings. I can say things that aren't true. I can be hyperbolic. I could, you know, all these things. Um, so if I, if I let myself, you know, like they say, count to 10, breathe, whatever, you know, give yourself a padding of time. If somebody sends you a text and you're just like, what? Give yourself like 10 minutes. Like if you can even wait longer, give yourself a half hour. And it really seems to help me. It helps me temper myself and, and, we're all human, you know, we're all human and we do different things that we don't like about ourselves, you know, and, and I think that's one of the things I don't like about myself. And I think, I think, how can I be better at, at being less harsh with people? Um, I mean, there are times when I, I think being harsh with someone is warranted and, and not, and I'm not necessarily the asshole because I'm being harsh. It's like, we're trying to get something done. Let's get this done. Let's do this sorry about your feelings or whatever, let's go. Like that, that's, that's me a lot of times. And then I feel bad later and I'm like, man, I should probably, <laughs> probably be more sensitive. And, you know, so I try to, I try to balance it out and, and not be just all harsh and all let's get it done. But also not all baby feelings. Let me take care of you and make sure you're okay. Like that's not all good either. Right. So back to the politics thing and all that, you know, me talk. That's why I don't talk about it as much because I feel like there's a need to be, to temper myself. Um, I might come off being completely wrong about something, right? Like so many people talked about how, you know, the, in the press and in, in like CNN or, or whatever, uh, how COVID, the virus came from a bat market and definitely wasn't from the COVID uh you know, medical lab of whatever, you know, Wuhan or whatever it was called. Um, I know I'm getting all the names wrong. That's me. That's what I do. Get all the names wrong. So what I'm saying is things change over time. And so like when people used to think that, okay, there's no way that, that COVID came from a lab, but it was like, wait a second, why wouldn't it have come from a lab? It's called the it's called the Wuhan lab of virology or something. It's like studying all the things that just came upon our world unexpectedly but so things like that so like when like uh, i don't know if you guys saw um john stewart the comedian he was talking to stephen colbert on an, on his show about this whole thing and just how like when hershey pennsylvania has an outbreak of chocolate bars attacking everyone or like melting all over the place they don't go like i wonder i wonder if it was the bat market they go it's Hershey it's the Hershey factory right like things like that so that's why I don't talk about it because like things are constantly changing people are stupid and I don't purport to know all there is but one thing I do know is it's very important to question 
It's very important to ask questions. It's very important not to just go along with the status quo, this laissez-faire attitude we have about life. And if it's not my job, I don't want anything to do with it, things like that. Like, I've always been into, into questioning reality, questioning what people tell you, because it's turned out over the years, a lot of what we've been taught in school has not been true. And so, yeah, take it with a grain of salt, right? And so, like, when I'm talking about uh, even politics in a song, I'm not usually, I- I'm, I'm, I'm talking opinions. I'm talking, okay, this is what I think, this, that, you know, our old, old song, Americanism, you know, it's, it's from a perspective of not liking the continual wars. Um, you know, as a teenager, I saw that the country that I love was part of all these continual wars that were making these arms dealers rich and making, you know, families go through hell, all of this, sending their sons off to war, sons and daughters now. Uh, you know, I was, I was a teenager, and I'm just looking at that going, this is crazy. Now, was I thinking about, like, okay, well, some wars are maybe just because you're trying to protect your homeland, right? Like, I get that. Um, but I didn't put that in the song, like, because it's, do you put everything you think in the, into one song? No, you don't. And, and, and I don't put everything I think into these podcasts either, you know? Um, I think you guys would be bored to death if I did. But anyway, I haven't even gotten your question. Um, yeah, I, you know, like I said, I, I'm just trying to figure it out just like you guys. And and I feel like um, my job isn't, isn't always to give you guys the answers, right? Like a lot of times when I'm, when I'm writing songs, I'm asking the questions. I'm asking you. I'm asking you to ask yourself because I'm asking myself. You know, I don't know the best way to live life. I, you know, there's so many different ways to skin a cat, right? Like, I don't know what the best way is. I know the way I've tried. I know the way I'd like to try. But there's, there's ways to skin a cat that I can't even think of right now that are probably better than the way I've done it, right? So that's all I'm saying, you guys. And, and I think over the last few years, I've really come to a place where I've been more accepting of the two extremes, extreme right, extreme left on this country, whatever. It's not as crazy in the same ways in the international world, but but there's still, you know, polarization. There's still a lot of emotions that rise up and, and sort of ignore facts and ignore, you know, those pesky facts. That's the thing is, like I said, I have to temper myself because I, I will ignore facts if I if I don't allow myself to take it in, think about it, process, and then react. So um, I've just really, I've really grown to be more accepting, more compassionate when it comes to people that don't agree with each other and, and certainly don't probably agree with me. But it's usually I'm looking at two people arguing a, a very extreme subject and I go well I definitely don't agree with both of you you know but it's not that I don't not that I disagree with everything uh but I just don't agree fully of either thing you know and in the easiest thing you know we could be talking about here is of course left and right you know you could politics uh the democratic party republican party you know that kind of thing like the again you know that's it's something that that's just changed over the years. It's something that that clearly isn't like our, our American politics and our government has is not the same government and politics that that was around 50 years ago. I'm not saying it's better or worse. I'm not really sure what it is. You know, everybody will tell you what they want you to hear. You know, so so I'm here just going, OK, let's let's keep watching and keep paying attention and I'll write songs about it. I'll write songs to process my feelings. But um, but I, I'm not sure I can give you guys all the answers. And here you are, taking voicemails, answering questions. But uh, but you know what? That's life. It's a it's a dichotomy, and it's very complicated. So um, 
Yeah, I think I talked about it on the cover last week. Somebody called in about it on the cover. Kind of weird that you you asked about it as well, Matt. But um, but Australia, I'm getting psyched because we will be coming back. We will be coming back at some point. So don't don't worry too much and <laughs> just hold your don't hold your breath. I mean, you need to hang out for a while. But you know, we're not going to be there next week. But um, we are we are uh, planning to to work on something like that. Um, all right, I. Let's get to the next voicemail. Hey, uh, Mike, it's a uh, stranger from Toronto. Uh, it's been uh, a month and a half, I think, since I was talked to you or left a message anyway. Uh, I just wondered if you've heard of uh, the uh, the Smule app. It's kind of like Smile, but replace the, the I in Smile with a U. Uh, it's a pretty cool music app. Uh, I'm addicted to it. Uh, You can go on there, and it's kind of like karaoke. Uh, But you can also use it for musicians. Uh, So you can go on and lay down a bass track, and you can have uh, fans or your bandmates lay down other tracks and vocals and everything like that. It's pretty cool, but uh, check out your podcast Facebook page. Um, I just... Uh, uploaded uh, my own track from from yours. Um, Doing time, Doing time. I uh, I did vocals, um, but uh, I can always invite guests to uh, sing along with me. It's pretty fun. I have a lot of fun with it. Um, looking for like uh, I, I want to do. I, I I like I love singing with uh, females. Females are always fun. Um, looking to do uh, like for always or you know I, I love the slower tracks. Um, but uh, yeah, check out that app. It's uh, called Smule. It's available on Android and uh, Apple, of course. Uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts on that app. It's a pretty cool musical app for all musicians. Thanks, Mike. Hope to see you guys in uh, Toronto soon. That'd be rad. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Shaner. Cool. Thanks for calling in again, man. You're, you're consistent. I love it. Smule. Um, I've heard of it, but I've never used it, so I don't. I don't know anything about it. I guess what you told me is what I know about it. But um, cool. Yeah, I'll have to look into it a little bit. I feel like it's um, similar to like Musically because Musically became TikTok, and TikTok you can do. Maybe not in the same way what you're saying, but you can do like duets and you can, maybe it's not karaoke in the same way, which speaking of which, I think it's pretty cool that you can do karaoke on Apple Music now. Anybody that's got Apple Music, you can do a karaoke setting and take the vocal out of your favorite song. So you can go to go to Apple Music, look up uh, Mike Herrera. I've got a couple songs on there if you want some slower, like stuff like that. But you can go to MXPX, stay up all night, take the vocal out, sing it yourself. I would love, so that's probably what Smule kind of does too. Um, yeah, you guys are going to have to post some stuff on the on the, the the My Career Podcast Facebook group. Would love for you to post your videos there. That way we can kind of see them. It's hard to like, if you just post them, of course, post them on whatever you're posting them on, but then send us the link there. That's what I mean. All right, cool, Shaner. Shoot. Let's get to the next one. Hey, Mike, uh, Shaner from Toronto. <laughs> Again? Uh, Canada. Uh, just listening to the episode, I think it was uh, 364. Uh, you're talking about uh, moments like this. That's a long the, time uh, ago. Screen door slamming. Um, I, I love listening to that song because uh, all day long, uh, my son just turned four. Um, he's running in and out of our front door, and that screen door slams all day long and uh it is moments like this and uh i often wonder if he does look up into the sky and will he think about me um we uh we drive around town you know running errands and uh we uh we drive past uh graveyards or, or cemeteries and he always says oh that's the uh that's heaven 
and uh, you know, so it is. That's uh, moments like these, and um, you you also went into uh, tough times and uh, uh, money and about jobs and how you can't be fired, but if people stop buying tickets and um, I just wanted to mention about uh, inflation uh, right now. Um, you know, the prices of everything here, here in, in Toronto, um, I'm sure it's the same all over the world. Um, sh- shit's gone through the roof as far as prices and groceries and gas and everything like that. Um, it's unbelievable. And yet... Um, I know you're in a band, but uh, those who work, uh, we don't see pay increases. And um, if we do, they're they're very, very little. And it's it's a struggle to get by. And I'm struggling. Our family's struggling. And we're at a point where we we don't even know what to do anymore. So uh, I don't know. I just wanted to put that out there, and I'm sure there's a lot of fans out there who are going through the same thing, and uh, I just want to say thank you because uh, your podcast, your music, and everything gets us through it all, so thank you. Cheers. That means a lot, Shaner. Um, Thank you for opening it up, being real. I mean, that's what it's about, you know? Um, That's why I wanted to do this podcast and be real, you know, it's, it's crazy because yeah, things have gone through the roof everywhere. Prices, um, the the cost of doing business, um, the, like when, when MXPX goes out for a weekend, the cost of that weekend has more than doubled for us to do that. Now the, the pay hasn't, you know, like in some things we get paid more, but like not generally like we really have to kick and scream every time to get that paycheck um so i hear you i feel like everybody even no matter what level you're on in life you're still just like just barely hanging on like that's the vibe that i'm getting from people and that's a real thing that's a real thing i I don't feel like i don't feel like people are just imagining that um it almost feels like you know as a homeowner, you know, you, you pay your mortgage, your monthly mortgage, but then on top of that, there's repairs. There's, you know, there's a hole in the deck. Okay, let's try to fix that. There's, you know, a busted window. Okay, got to fix that. There's, you know, the floor needs to be redone. Like, whatever it is, right? Like, it's just always something that goes goes wrong. Sinks leaking, pipes leaking. You know, we, we've had a, a, we had to call the plumber, I want to say three times so far this summer. Um, And each time that's, you know, it's like $300 or whatever. You know, if you're, if you're lucky, it's not, it's just a a clogged drain and replace like a little pipe or something. But um, that's all real life stuff that, that every, everybody goes through something like that. Maybe not every day, but just about every week there's, there's new unforeseen obstacles to, to pass, you know, to, to figure out how to get past. Right. And I think that's why I wrote this record, you know, just realizing, you know, the, the work is never going to end. We're never going to be done. We're never going to, we're never going to really be in a place where we can relax. Cause I mean, life isn't like that. You, you, you can't set something up and then leave it. It just, it's gonna, it's gonna fall apart eventually. Right. So no matter what, no matter, you know, your, your most favorite band in the world hopefully that's mxpx but you know we time passes on and you have to make choices in life and you have to do this and this and this it's just crazy and it's like okay but we're also these artists that make music and go and play all around the world and people really look up to you for that and um it seems weird to sort of like have those things be part of the same life, you know, like this larger than life thing that we do traveling all over the world. And then also just the struggles that everybody has in life, car breaks down, tire, tire flat, you know, 
you run out of gas or you need gas again. You're like, I just filled up the tank. I need gas again. That's another $80 or 60 or whatever it is, right? Um, that is part of being human. And, and, and I think going back to just MXPX and how I write, I write about the struggles of life and the very personal struggles that I have in life and how I relate to people and how I see the world. And I try to make that relatable to people listening and um, positivity is, is what, what I use to bring it, bring it around. And, you know, all the ideas start from a pain point, you know, the, you know, this, 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 but then I always try to turn it around to let's bring this back to a positive place. Let's bring this, let's push this up. Let's go. Yes. But let's not give up. Let's keep trying. Let's go. Let's that's MXPX. That's our spirit. That's, that's, I am, I am a dichotomy in the way that I'm very negative about things, but I'm also positive, but it's just, it's, it's the reaction time's a little different, right? Like it's, it's, it's more natural to be negative for a lot of people, you know, everybody's a little different, but the, the, the job of a human being is to build a life for you, for your family, for your whoever around you, it could be friends, could be just your chosen family, but build a life. Could be just you by yourself. If it's just you, you build a life for yourself. There's there's no like I said, there's more than one way to skin a cat. You don't have to have a family to live a good life. Not at all. Um everybody's different, you know, but finding your place in life, what you're what you're striving for, right? a reason to get up in the morning, a reason to be, I mean, literally the fact that you wake up every morning is a reason to get up. It's a reason to be happy. You know, it, it's this, it's a gift. I'm very grateful for this life, but man, you're right, Shane, you're right. It, it is so hard out there. Everybody's struggling and we all put on our, our good face to face the world, our Instagram face to, to go, Hey everybody, go to mxpeaks.com, get your tickets, get the new record. I mean, yes, I'm excited. Absolutely. At the same time, there's very real issues going on in the world. And that's not going to change the fact that I got this new record out or coming out. And I'm very proud of it. And we all are. And we're, this is what we're doing. This is what we're struggling with to, to get people to just even know that it exists. That's a struggle, right? Um, it's all a struggle. It's just whatever is your worst thing is, is, is your worst thing. And in some people it's really, really bad things, you know, being sold into, into sex slavery or something like that versus somebody's bad thing is not being able to go to the school that they wanted to go to because their friend went there. So they had to go to, and you know, like something like that. Like, yes, that's bad too, but it's just, there's different levels. And if that's happening to you, it feels very much like the worst thing in the world. It feels like it's so real and it is real. So we're all in different places. We're all floating around, having similar experiences, but thinking our own thoughts in our head. Wow. I'm saying all the obvious things, but uh, <laughs> if anything, I, you know, it's just a good reminder for myself. I appreciate that. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, everybody that's called in. Let's do one more voicemail. Hey me again. Order some of your shirts. Let's give you to it. Nope. Tell them to come and send me some good ones. Um, I got another question. What what time is too early to wake and bake? What time is too early for Friday? Alright. Thanks, man. Okay. Glad that you got some skivvy shirts. Very cool. Um, your question is, what time is too early to wake and bake? I think you know the answer to that question. There is no time that's too early. Uh, but really, I think it's uh, one of those things. What are you doing that day? Do you have people that you have to talk to? Um, how high is your tolerance? Uh, how old are you? That Those kind of questions. I would suggest, uh, you know, waiting until you're 30, 30 up to do anything like that. As far as like smoking ganja or anything like that, but um, 
that's just me being a responsible parent, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but honestly, uh, I, I think it depends on when your day starts. There's no early or late to me. Uh, sometimes I have to wake up at 3.30 a.m. and head to the head to the airport and fly somewhere. Sometimes I sleep in till 9 a.m., whopping 9 a.m. Not often these days, but but if I could, I would sleep I would sleep longer. Um, but usually once your brain turns on, boom, 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 it's time to get up, time to go make things happen. Time to go, go be a human. The job of being a human starts right now. All right, um, what time is too early for Friday? Now, I subscribe to the fact that every day can be a Friday. You can, live your, you can live your life every day like a Friday, like a Saturday, like a weekend. You don't have to, but you can. And so with that, I'm just going to say there is no time that's too early to live your life like a Friday. Go for it. Thanks for calling in. Keep it coming. Um, I want to shout out to Bob McKnight for producing and being just being my right hand man over here with the podcast. I appreciate it. Um, do me a favor, everyone. If you haven't already done so, go subscribe to my podcast on whatever you're listening on. Subscribe to my YouTube. Go over to MXP. Subscribe to our YouTube and watch the Stay Up All Night video at least once. But for extra credit, watch it more than once. Let me know on any of our socials whether or not you've done that. Okay. All right. That's the homework for this week. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. MXPeaks.com. Always a good place to go to support what we do. And uh, thanks for your calls. All right, you guys. Peace. Peace.